is in Chine Randai's Thursday the 26th of February. Coming up on today's Rise and Shine Ronda. We kick it with a shoe specialist. We profile a man with a serious passion for rally. And we chat new releases and film favorites in this week's movie review. Good morning, it's just after 7 o'clock in the morning and you're watching Rise and Shine Ronda with me, Makeda Mahadio. And me, Regis Sisheja. Over the next hour, we'll bring you all the latest news, sports and lifestyle headlines from here in Ronda and around the world. And the Rise and Shine team are here <laughs> in the studio, so what do we have in the world of the money? <laughs> Ronda's been going and big, making deals every day. So today I get to tell you about a new deal between Ronda and Israeli that's going to make the people in ICT just go crazy. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. <laughs> if something tells me sports is going to be special today. Makeda has all of his answers to sports. What? Yes. Super yeah. special. So I never thought I'd see the day. Believe yeah. it. She's a daredevil. She is a daredevil. Wow. <laughs> okay, all that and more is still to come, but first, Rise and Shine story of the day. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a government agent, or a bank employee, your look is as important as your expertise. And the look is never complete until your shoes are on point. Umuteremuko, a very popular spot downtown Kigali, has been for years the go-to place for anything shoes. From the art of bargaining to patience it takes to find your fit, it's a culture in itself. I had to check it out. Everybody knows it as Umuteremuko. Fis sells shoes here for a living. Soon as you enter the shop, he makes his task to find the right fit for you, at times mixing in some jokes and making sure you feel at ease. Over the years, selling shoes has become his strength and there's nothing else he'd rather do. They all come here to find shoes of all kind, from women's high heels to sneakers to men's dress shoes. They even carry sneakers for your little ones. The prices are obviously up for bargaining. With many young entrepreneurs, government agents, and bank employees having to look their best at work, what's the approach like for Fis and everyone else selling shoes here? Umuteremuko has your favorite sneakers and dress shoes, but you have any idea about where they get them? And what kind of issues FIS has been facing in this business? East Africa, Uganda, Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, Igoma. Marie Clarisse's specialty is knowing what shoes and outfits match, and she takes it very seriously. Mm -hmm. 
ari byiza ko nshobora no gucuruza inkweto zijyanye na ya mashati na ya mapantaro ndetse ishyiraho n'imikandara kugira ngo ukeneye urukweto abashe kubona umukandara bijyanye mu gihe bikeneye cyangwa se mwambike njyanishije imyenda n'inkweto an outfit is never complete without a nice pair of shoes the dapper ones will tell you bana bobo bakubera internet ibintu byose baba bazi ibyo ari byo umubyeyi uza watayize ariko umwana yamwayide akamwa ngo unzane Jordan Retro 4 kwambara neza ku mugabo yambara ishati ukayijyanisha ni pantaro noneho gusirimuka cyane ku mugabo nuko yambara urukweto niba ari umukara kambara no mukandara w'umukara niba urukweto ari shokora akambara no mukandara wa shokora aho ngaho umugabo barimbi this is a business that's here to last BGC Sheja Rise and Shine Rwanda you can learn how to dress just by checking my fresh check it check my fresh check it check my fresh follow my step and joining us in studio is Robert Muhirwa a shoe salesman at Umutere Muko he's commonly known as Fis Fis wa Umutere Umutere wa kuze kuba witabiriye ikiganiro cyacu cyoze cyamenye nifuza kukubaza abantu baguri inkweto muri Kigali bazigura hano henshi ariko nta hano hazwi nko ku Umutere Muko kuberize impamvu e mpamvu ya mbere nuko ku muteremuko na hantu haba ibintu byiza bya class e ari abantu benshi mu Rwanda baba bakeneye ahantu hari ibintu byiza yo mpamvu twafashe iyo initiative kugira ngo tubashakira ahantu bazaho kuri ibintu byiza ku buryo ikintu cyose bakeneye bakiyabona niyo mpamvu hazwi kuri iryo zina nagiye nganira nabantu yaba bakora muri za banke abikorera ku giti cyabo ariko baba bakeneye gusa neza abakora muri leta ndetse mu nzego zitandukanye za leta ugasanga bose bavuga bati dukunda kujya ku muteri muko kugira ngo tugure inkweto zijyanye na za costume zacu zijyanye na namakanzu yacu niki nakaye karusho mufite abandi baba badafite eh akarusho dufite nuko twebwe tubashakira inkweto zivuye mu bihugu byose Uba ngo umuntu ashaka kuzaka gwa commande agakwereka nk'ifoto y'inkweto ashaka kwera ko twebwe tujya mu bihugu byose tukayibazanira niyo mpamvu usanga nta kibazo bataba tugiraho Ejo tuganira dukora ino reportage tuvuye kureba twanabunye n'inkweto z'abana noneho abana bakire bato cyane ese nk'ababyeyi babo yo baje ku mutere muko baza babwira bati umwana yanumye urukweto runuru bigenda bite Eh ari arabaza bazi neza inkweto umwana yabatumye Hari nabaza kwera kuntu discipline kuntu tuzanika arabaza bakahita babona ibijyanye na na matrices yabana babo iyo baje rero abo ngabo baraza bakazibona ariko hari nabaza bazi neza exactoma izo umwana ashaka muri ubwo buryo tukahita tubafasha tubwira abakiriye ikintu batandukanye ese harabaza bazi ibyo bashaka hari nabaza bari mu gicu bari mu gicu kupe ugomba kubafasha kuva ku ntangiro kugeza bavuye mu mana zindi bintu bibi niko bimeze na uko inkweto zimeze nuko nibindi bicuruzwa buryo bimera umuntu arigeza asa nkuhitemberera avuga ngo aranumvise bavuga abi bintu byiza bintu byiza akajyamo ari giye azara akayitagwa ngo kukintu giwanye na nicyo yifuzaga akakigura hari nunduza atazi iyo biva niyo bijya akaza kubaza se inkweto numvise bavuga zitwa gutya nizi kwamwereka zigura gute ukamubwira akagubira size yambara ukamupima bigahura none no mukumvikana kugicira uwe kugiti cyawe kugira ngo utangire ugurusha inkweto byatangiye bite nzi ko wambiye ko watangiye mu 2022 akabashize imyaka 13 watangiye ute ubumenyi wagiye ugira muri no myaka ishize wagiye ubugera gute eh wundi ibintu byose umuntu arigiye atangira agera ngo yese yarebe ukuntu bizagenda ngiye nari mfite umuvandimwe umuntu w'umufamilie wabikoragamo noneho ndangije kwiga narabona akazi ndavuga ni wabugiye nka muganiriza nkaba ndebe ibyo akora ngiye ahangwira ati ibi ni ibintu by'akazi bidutunze ushaka kuza ugatangira nubona ubikunze uzabikore nubona utabikunze uzigire mu bindi ndabitangira mbona ni ibintu bishobora kugufasha ngenda mbikunda gutyo ubu mbona ariko kazi nkunze cyane kandi ngashyiramo no mutima wanje wose mbere yuko tugira ikindi tuvugaho ese icyo bita culture y'inkweto hano mu Rwanda ubona abantu yo baje mu mangazini batangiye kumenya bavuga bati mfite umukadaro uyu n'uyu hari umudamu twaganyiraga mu mangazini nyine ku mutere mukambira ati iyo umugabo yambaye ishati ni pantaro agomba komara no no mukandara ujyanye n'inkweto ese batangiye kumenya urabona abanyarwanda batangiye kugenda babishikarira eh batangiye kubishikarira kobera nko bo inkweto zibazifite amazina ama brand ya amazina no no nimikanda ari kayagira nimyendi kayagira hari giye umuntu ari abantu baba basirimutse avuga agenda ngomba kwambara inkweto par exemple ya Gucci pambara ipanaro ya Gucci centire ya Gucci nishati enda ya Gucci nazo zibaho ari gero nkuwo aza ariko ari nunduza atazi neze bya mamarike akabijyanisha ariko ukabona nabyo birajyanya yabayambaye inkweto ya black 
akamba na bre na bert ya brack no no kawana amba yenda hejuru nga shemize ya ya white cyangwa panoro ya noir ibintu ngibyo ngibyo ari kukabona nyine bari smart bambaye neza atari kiri nka bya bintu bya cyera umuntu yafaga kwambara kwa bonye fisi urakoze cyane kandi uzambona uzambona vuba cyane urakoze na rejeje murakoze kudutumira mu studio you watching rising shine rwanda will be right back after the break it's the month of love buy tickets this february with rwanda and stand a chance to get in a lucky draw for a romantic getaway in Mombasa. Three lucky couples stand a chance to win an all-expense-paid holiday for three days and two nights at the White Sands Beach Resort and Spa. Yes, we are connecting Dream. Fly our dream to the heart of Africa. Welcome back to Rising Shine Rwanda. Let's get to today's money, the business news. Fidel Skarangwa has the details. Business stories make headlines today. Seven Rwandan information and telecommunication technology firms have entered a partnership agreement with select Israeli ICT counterparts. The partnership follows a visit by a Rwandan delegation to Israeli on the invitation of two Israeli investors co-organized by the Private Sector Federation and the ICT Chamber, which, which was aimed at enabling local ICT leaders to learn from established ICT firms, as well as building collaboration partner partnerships that will see Israeli firms tap into the Rwandan market and vice versa. Some of the Rwandan firms that will benefit from the deal include ICT Innovation, Hub, K-Lab, Data System Limited, which will be offered capacity building training as well as affordable gadgets. Managers of pension schemes will now have the power to increase both contributions and benefits to the scheme for pensioners thanks to a new law that was passed by the Senate this week. Last week, sorry. Under the new law, the public entity in charge of the pension scheme will carry out a, a study at least every five years and results from the study will determine whether to increase pension benefits or contributions. Despite these new changes, however, pensioners continue to criticize the flexibility of this law, saying it's non-committal with regards to increasing benefits for them. And yesterday, the World Bank country office started its presentation on its annual economic update of Rwanda. On top on the agenda were discussions on how commercial banks are overlooking the agricultural sector, which is said to be the backbone of the economy. Officials say this year's economy, up, economic update will, will provide an opportunity for stakeholders to discuss how Rwanda can manage economic uncertainties to ensure sustainable growth and poverty reduction. They also added that Rwandan growth projections depend highly on the performance of the agricultural sector, which is why contribution must, must be secured and sustained if the Rwanda is to hit its set national targets. You have today today's business headlines. Post news coming up next in just a minute with Arnold Quizera. Good morning, all you viewers. My name is Asha Komcha, and today we host a very special sports edition of Rise and Shine. Well, welcome back to the show. Today in the hot seat, I have Arnold Quizera and we're talking boxing. It's the biggest fight of this century and it's Floyd Mayweather up against Manny Pacquiao. What do you make of the announcement that the fight will finally happen on May 2nd? As uh, it was Friday night uh, at about 2 a.m., 3 a.m., we were actually were anticipating the South Africa-India cricket game <laughs> and my Twitter blew up. You know, it's... There were all these streets all over, Floyd Mayweather mm -hmm. versus Manny Pacquiao. It's the biggest fight. In fact, one of the ladies I follow, your colleague, Karo Shabalala, mm -hmm. I, it's, it's where I got the news from first. I had to tweet her back. I'm like, are you sure? Are you <laughs> really sure? So I went to the first headlines and we've waited six long years and Floyd Mayweather has stopped ducking. He is going to give us this fight. Well, yeah. are you saying it was only uh, Floyd Mayweather who was ducking? I, I think that it was sort of two-way. Uh, two, why did you say two-way? I will <laughs> bring back that question later. But when I say Floyd Mayweather was ducking, Manny Pacquiao gave him all he ever wanted. When Manny Pacquiao was at the peak of his boxing uh, uh, powers, if that's the word to use, mm -hmm. 
Manny Pacquiao has fought 64 fights. He's just 36 years old. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather has had only 47 fights, meaning he's a very calculative fighter who only picks certain fights and when he to pick them. Now, Manny Pacquiao is the greatest um, obstacle to Floyd Mayweather's unbeaten run. Mm -hmm. There is no way in boxing that you will go down in history to be regarded as one of the greatest when you don't take on the greatest. Muhammad Ali, any fighter they brought on that is the greatest. He lost some fights, you know. Remember, we had the Rambo in the jungle. We had the Rambo in the jungle. Mm -hmm. He took on the best, George Foreman. Look at uh, Mike Tyson, you know, with the greatest heavyweight boxer of uh, the 2000 era. He took on the best, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield. You don't, in the sport of boxing, you don't refuse to take on the best at your times. Floyd Mayweather told us he took on uh, Oscar De La Hoya, but remember the time when Floyd Mayweather took on Oscar De La Hoya? Mm -hmm. uh, Oscar was 37 years old. Floyd was 30, mm -hmm. 30 years young by then. Mm, seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is now 37 years old, mm -hmm. and um, Manny Pacquiao is 36. They are within the same age category. Um, but then when you look at the records, Manny Pacquiao has had more fights than Floyd Mayweather. So this is what him accepting to sign this contract, mm -hmm. you know, to give us this fight on May 2nd. Manny Pacquiao comes in as an, an underdog, and sorry, an underdog. Mm -hmm. When you look at most of the cards, he's a one to three underdog. He lose to Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather came out talking big. Mm -hmm. He's he's talking about um, he's talking about how he how uh, sorry he's talking about how Manny Pacquiao is going to be fighter number 48. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's my reason for. Manny Pacquiao losing. Now, what do, you, what do you think about this fight when I take that? <laughs> well, I mean, um, it's a fight that everyone has been waiting for and uh, for sure. Um, we know that uh, it's going to be a very, very, uh, you know, to the edge. I, I'm very sure there's going to be a unanimous uh, decision. I don't think any one of them is going to, you know, knockout? win outrightly. No, 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 there's no knockout. Prediction, 11th round knockout, Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, that's not impossible. Well, um, let's talk about the money. The money involved, um, you know, the, the, the tickets, the, you know, it's Las Vegas. Tickets so. sold out three minutes into announcing the fight. Mm -hmm. MGM Grand uh, uh, Legas, uh, sorry, Las Vegas Arena, MGM, it was booked out. You can't get a hotel room f between May 2nd, sorry, between May 1st mm -hmm. to May 4th in Las Vegas right now, unless you're going to get it on the black market. And I don't have... Man. Oh, were you hoping to go and... <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Yo, this is a... Are we going to ever have a fight like this ever again? Because, look, Asha, this, I take it back to your experience when you had your Usain Bolt experience, <laughs> you know, that when you covered the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think you were going to have a moment like that again? No, I didn't. No, it's it's not. I mean, he's going to retire in, in, in 2016 after the Olympics. But then I'm not even sure I will be at that stage or he will be at the tip of his career. So this is I know what you mean. It's a very outstanding moment and a very big moment for boxing. But let's talk about the timing, the timing. Um, should this fight, should it have happened at an earlier stage? Should it have happened back in 2009? Definitely, definitely. It should have happened in 2009. There's no doubt about it because Manny Pacquiao hadn't lost. That's the time when Manny Pacquiao had beaten the Manuel Marquez through the two bo boats they had. He beat Ricky Hatton, who many thought he wouldn't beat. Mayweather beat Ricky Hatton again because uh, remember that great fight called the undefeated. Uh, Mayweather knocking out Ricky Hatton. But again, I think Manny Pacquiao's record has gone on to suffer after that time because uh, since then he has lost two fights. Mm -hmm. uh, last uh, in 2012 alone, mm -hmm. sorry, in 2013 alone he lost to Timothy Bradley uh, and Manny Marquez. Mm -hmm. And I will defend Manny Pacquiao as losing to those two fighters because he never, at one moment, was focused on any of those fighters. All he wanted was the money. And that was Floyd Mayweather. So I think it has come a little too late. But when you look at their previous two fights against Maidana and uh, uh, Alberto Allegri, you feel the fighters are at their right pick. Well, let's talk about the claim. Mayweather thinks this is the biggest fight or sporting event in the world ever. Bob Aram said it. These are three Super Bowls wrapped in one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that will be determined by the pay-per-view um, all it's over the world. Break, it's and going to break all pay-per-view records, no doubt, because the pay-per-view record right now is being held by that Oscar De La Hoya. Mm, versus the 2.5 million, yeah. Yes, my mm. 2.5 million view. I think, they're, I think they're going to break it. If they go in uh, with getting the pay-per-view numbers in China, mm -hmm. you know, China people to pay for the pay-per-view, I think they can even grace to over 100 million viewers. You inclusive, me inclusive. I know where we'll be sitting. <laughs> I will be with you on that night. <laughs> well, um, let's talk about the quality of the fight. Manny Pacquiao is 36. Floyd Mayweather is 38. The quality at that age. What, what can you say about that? Uh, going by their past two fights, 
I would think the quality is not what it was five years back, but it's still the best in the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is what we call a southpaw fighter. He leads with his right foot, he takes his hooks with his left. Mm -hmm. So, and he's all out aggressive. He's, he doesn't have, um, he doesn't defend as much as Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is a traditional southpaw. He uses the role, he uses his shoulders a lot, and he is the most intelligent fighter of his generation. So you would think, um, I would think Manny Pacquiao is going to come all out. He has nothing to lose, and Floyd Mayweather has a legacy to lose. Floyd Mayweather showed us a bit of his attacking powers when he took on uh, Oscar De La Hoya in the last round. So let him come out. Come what, out and take on Manny what, Pacquiao. What will it mean for Pacquiao to beat Mayweather? Um, He's the greatest pound to pound fighter ever. That will be it. Manny Pacquiao will be the greatest pound to pound fighter ever the world has ever seen. And what's your prediction finally? Um, Manny Pacquiao victory, 11th round, technical knockout. <laughs> <laughs> on that canvas. All right, thank you so much for being with us in this special sports edition about boxing. Rise and Shine's Makeda Mahario is not known for her love for sports, but she's no coward either. My co-host stood the mental and physical test of being in the navigator's seat of legendary driver Elfetrios Mitraros' car as she learned all about this daring sport. Mitraros, Mitraros. My name is Mitraros Elfetrios. My first rally, I did it. En mille, 1970. Comme, comme tout, euh, tout jeune, hein, toute jeunesse aime voir des, des choses dangereuses. Hein, C'est ça qui m'a poussé. Okay. Hein, J'aimais bien la compétition. On était chaque fois en train de, de chercher un peu euh, hein, tout ce qui était compétition. Et voilà. Et aujourd'hui, si vous posez la question à toute la jeunesse rwandaise, mm -hmm. ce sera la même euh, la réponse même pratiquement. Oui. Alors, regardez bien le lunch control. You know, the idea of Mitra Ross is uh, like him and, and uh, wife and husband that they stay together since long time. I know exactly what they are doing, going to do. They know what they expect from me. And because after 30 years of collaboration, almost 30 years of collaboration, because we started in 84, so this year we celebrated the 30 anniversary together, and uh, the, we know each other. Il faut, il faut aimer la mécanique, mm -hmm. il faut aimer la vitesse, et c'est ça qui fait que tout ça, quand, quand c'est réuni, eh ben voilà, vous, vous aimez la compétition et, et vous faites des rallyes, voilà. Putting the seatbelt on. Le Rwanda euh, englobe les, 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 des routes merveilleuses, routes très euh, techniques. Et c'est ça qui fait que euh, nous avons des, des, euh, des compétitions qui plaisent beaucoup à, à des gens qui aiment euh, glisser, qui aiment, euh, hein, euh, qui aiment la technique des rallyes. Voilà. Je dois accélérer pour pouvoir avoir une, un départ. Très fort. Ok. Donc voilà, je mets la première, j'accélère. The, the future of uh, rally in Rwanda, they are on the end of the Minister of Sports, that they have to uh, verify the performance of the Federation. And the new Federation, they have to be guided on the way to push the new talent, Rwandese talent, to, and, uh, to have a, a possibility to drive a car, cheap car, and not very expensive, as we do on the start. And they have to verify if they are really uh, passionate and they wanted to continue and wanted to push. As a lot of Ugandan drivers they are on, on the cars, we believe that is possible also for the Rwanda. Il faut aimer la compétition et il y en a beaucoup ici au Rwanda. Et à ce moment-là, il faut plonger, il faut 
avoir du matériel et voilà, il faut aimer la vitesse. And joining us in studio is navigator Paginini Paolo. Welcome to the show, Mr. Paolo. Thank you very much for the invitation. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very nice to talk about a rally once. Once again. Now, now Mr. Paolo, 50 years in the sport, what does it take for one to be with someone for 50 years in the sport of rallying? In fact, I start with the uh, LFTR. It was around in 1984. So before they do the competition themselves, and we meet in, in 1984, and uh, we do all of the African Championship uh, uh, country and rally, Congo included Congo, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Tanzania, Safari of Kenya many times, and Uganda as well, Pearl of Africa. And it was very nice. It was a good experience for us to have a, 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 at least the, the, the to meet other di drivers and uh, see how is our skill against the other drivers. It is very nice, it's very good experience. Yeah. Well, um, we, we see that you, have, you, you won the, the 2005 and the 2006 um, uh, trophies in Africa. Um, what was it like for you? How, how did you get to that level? Uh, this is the, the cup that we won for the uh, 16 uh, 1600, mm -hmm. 1600 cc, and uh, on, on this it was really not uh, particular uh, competitors there, but it was necessary for us to make a visit in Zimbabwe, in Zambia and the other countries and won mm -hmm. at least. And we saw that it was good for us to, to move on the higher step because on the, uh, Subaru is 2000 cc mm -hmm. and it's different uh, techniques and it's more aggressive more expensive as well. It's a more expensive car. But it, it is, uh, is means for, for us, when you know more or less the country, you know every characteristic of the country. Because uh, Uganda, they have a, one type of roads. Kenya, very, very tricky and very, very, very special roads in Kenya. Tanzania as well. And the Zambia and Zimbabwe is different. So every, every country, they have a special, uh, special road. And you have to approach the rally Professionally, you cannot go there and say, okay, no, we drive. No, 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 <laughs> no, that you have to be careful even with the physical preparation. Mm. You have to be there in time and you have to prepare that in time. Okay. Um, and then can you talk about um, Rwanda and Rally, Rally in Rwanda? What, what's your impression of the current um, situation in Rwanda? Side of the road, road of Rwanda, many drivers say is the best road in Africa because they are twisty in these techniques. Mm -hmm. So, and in, uh, when uh, the drivers in, in Kenya and in, in Tanzania and uh, from the other East African countries, they came to Rwanda, they say that is really uh, technical because you have uh, corners, twisty and so on. It's very, very nice uh, routes, business challenge for the, for the driver. But in Kenya, they have a more bad, bad roads, so roads, they are very rough. You have to use your brain, you have to use your, your, your feeling with the car, feeling with, uh, with the mechanic issues, because if you have a, a problem uh, with the car, you stop on the middle of the road. Even if you have the faster on, on, on the world, you can stop on the road. That is, is simple, mm -hmm. very simple. But actually, in Rwanda, we hope to have a little bit better organization for the rallies because for the moment it's a little bit poor. Okay, it's, uh, you know, it's a moment is up and down, up and down in every, uh, all of the sports. And uh, we believe that is now is moment to, to go up, push our uh, feet on the, on the bottom, go up. <laughs> because uh, for uh, till February we don't have anything, till uh, start of February no meeting, no, Nothing is. We don't. We have a more or less an idea about the calendar of competition, but even calendar they are not respected because we are not there. We have to sit down and start. And we hope that the Minister of Sports they help us with the federation. Otherwise, we are nowhere. So, what what do you think is lacking for rallying? Because you talked about earlier in the video with Makeda about it's being at the level of the Ugandan drivers and the Kenyan drivers. What do you think is lacking with the Rwandan drivers? You know, when you see, uh, uh, even in, in, in Uganda, 
you go to see the stadium. They have a stadium in Barara, they have one in Masaka, and two or three in, uh, in uh, Kampala. When you go there, you are astonished. You see 10,000 persons mm -hmm. <laughs> shouting, with, you make the, the around and and you see that the person, they are really passionate. Mm -hmm. And if you have so many people that are passionate by the rally, at least you have one of them that they decide, they decide to buy a car and, and, and do it. And we saw um, so many young people like Consta and the other drivers from Uganda. They was just a spectator maybe two, three years ago, four years ago. And now they are driver and they are very nice driver. And themselves they started to convert to the passion because they are passionate on the sports. They, will, they became active. And what we hope, hope also to have for, with the Rwandese uh, drivers, because uh, Rwandese spe spectators, they are passionate as well. When we go to Gahanga, you see how many people they are there. But we, 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 we need to people to convert from the passionate to the, the drivers. Well, um, let's talk about your role as a, co as a navigator or co-driver. Um, the, the ability to make notes and not to make a mistake, because if you make a mistake, it will affect the driver. Um, can you just brief us uh, on, on your role as a, as a navigator? The uh, role of a navigator is uh, always tricky because we have to say to the driver in time the notes, to say the corner coming or the danger coming and so on. But we have also to feel if the driver, due to the action that they do with the car, if the, the driver, they listen what they say. For this reason, as the feeling is form of feeling, they will be really, really necessary. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Pauli, uh, Paolo, if I, I get it right. Uh, my co-host today, Asha, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you too. Uh, Regis and Makeda will be back with the latest news headlines right after this short break. Welcome back to Rise and Shine Rwanda. Let's take a look now at news making headlines here in Rwanda and around the world.
former Minister of Sports and Culture, Johari Neza, has been replaced by newly appointed Julien Wachou. The appointment was announced in a brief announcement letter signed by Prime Minister the Honorable Anastas Muritizi. Minister Wachou has been a member of parliament and thanked the president for appointing her, adding that she's looking forward to promoting the Rwandan culture and taking sports to the next level. Prison officers from each of the East African community member states have begun a week-long training intended to prepare them for peacekeeping operations and enhance their proficiency in regular duties. The training also includes officers from Seychelles and Mauritius and will familiarize the trainees with the United Nations and African Union approach to peacekeeping operations. It is taking place at the Rwanda Peace Academy in Musanze District. The Executive Director of the United Nations Human Settlements Program, also known as UN Habitat, has encouraged the Rwandan government to expedite plans to build secondary cities across the country. Dr. John Close commended Rwanda's urbanization policy after meeting President Paul Kagame at Village Unguiro in Kigali. Along with urbanizing Kigali, the government of Rwanda has designated six secondary cities that will be the poles of growth for the country, Rubavu, Musanze, Nyagatare, Mohanga, Huye, and Rusizi. Uganda has scrapped work permit fees and visa requirements for Kenyans and Rwandans entering and leaving the country. The decision goes along with the ongoing implementation of the free movement system under the East African Community Common Market Protocol that was signed back in 2009 by the heads of each member state. Officials say that the nationals of the two countries will also not be required to produce visas or other travel documents to enter Uganda except their respective national identity cards. Tanzania and Burundi are not catered for in this arrangement of work permits and visa requirements. Suicide bombers have struck two bus stations in northern Nigeria, killing at least 24 people. In the first explosion, a suicide bomber rushed onto a bus in the town of Putiskum before detonating a blast that killed at least 12 people and injured at least 20 others. According to a driver's union official, quote, the bus had just loaded with passengers on it on its way to Kano when a huge explosion happened inside the bus on Tuesday morning. Time now for a review of the headlines. Collins Mwai from the New Times joins us now to look through some of the front pages. Good morning, Collins. Good morning. And welcome back. So the senior members of parliament are headed, they've headed actually yesterday, I think, to the National Leadership Retreat. Okay? Right. Or today, I think, rather, to the National Leadership Retreat. It happens every year. I just want to talk about what we should be looking forward to, to coming out of this and where are we on the resolutions that were made last year. So on the okay on the resolutions that were made last year, I think the biggest the biggest um, achievement is that I think seventy percent of the resolutions have have been passed. There were forty two number, and uh, so far we can see I think thirty public senior officials who are implicated in mi in mismanagement or uh, of their of their offices or abuse of office have had have had uh, court cases. Uh, we, we can see there is there the, 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 there was um affordable housing uh, projects, they, 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 they has been uh, speeding up and, 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 te and technocrats have been, have been uh, trying to, to, to address it more expeditiously. Uh, lastly, one of the, I think, uh, Obudehe cla classification scheme of the, of the economic status is, 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 I think, is only pending one and it's supposed to be done by sometime this year in May. Uh, what is on the agenda this year is uh, Mutual de Sante. That's the one everybody's exactly, talking about yeah. right now. Because uh, it's supposed to be taken over by RSSP, but uh, RSSP, I would say, has been hesitant to, to, to take it on because they have to put the house in order first before they, they take it on. At the end of last year, we saw a couple of ministers uh, either resign or, 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 or yeah, hand, hand, hand in their yeah, mayors, yes. sorry, mayors uh, hand in their resignation letters uh, because of being implicated in mismanagement of, of office. And you can see that previously it had been successful in, in, in scaling up the access to healthcare, but but over time there were a few mishaps, and, and which we which we hope that from the retreat 
they'll come up with a uh, way forward. Uh, secondly, there is a uh, all, all, all along there, there, there has been talk on the on the role of private sector in economic development. Right. Right. So this is one of the avenues where they'll sit down and look at how can they facilitate the private sector to to uh, to have a bigger role. That's the local private sector and the international private sector in in in, in form of FDIs. Uh, one other thing is uh, infrastructure development. The city is growing. Currently, we have, I would say, an urbanization rate of 17%. It is projected that by 2020, it's going to be close to 30%. That means by 2020, we, we could easily have more than 2.8 million people right. in urban areas. So with that, it calls for, 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 for better facilities, drainage systems, water systems, water uh, electric, uh, electricity grid. So these are some of the things that they will be looking to, to address on how they, they can scale them up, on how they can speed up. Uh, yeah. Now, what everybody has been talking about for the past two days, the past 48 hours, is um, Mr. Minister Joe being replaced. Um, what do you make of it? Because there's been a lot of rumors floating around. Everybody, it feels like everybody knows what happened, but then no, but no one really knows what happened. And, and perhaps what can you tell us about the new Minister of Sports and Culture, Julianne Uwachu? Right. I think, okay, for me, um, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious to see what, Julie, what Julianne Uwachu will, will bring on board. Uh, to begin with, uh, she's been very, very quiet or she's not, her face has no, 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 no been out there, but she has had previous roles, previous public roles. She was a vice mayor of Nyabihu, I think, and right. uh, after that, she was a um, she was a vice chairperson of the committee of foreign affairs uh, in 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 parliament, and I mean she must have a, had a good track record. Uh, on her on her interest, she, she comes into office. I would say the biggest thing right now is is the is a uh, is African Af African nations championship, championship that year. we're supposed yes, to hold yes. next year. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest. That's the biggest thing that that she takes on. Of course, there is our putting this. There is there is our putting sports in 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 order. There is there is especially football. The federation. Exactly. It, it, there is a big role in putting the football federation in in in, in order. Uh, for Minister Joe, I would say. He's been around for a short time, but it was a good time. I mean, everybody was, when you came back, I mean, you, if you remember the everybody hashtag, Joe while you were away, exactly, yes. exactly. And, and I would say, this year, I would say, we saw a big difference in, 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 in Miss Rwanda, I mean, which he has been several commended for, or he's yes. had a role in it. Right. So, regarding to why he left, we can only leave it as, 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 as speculations, and, right. and we wait to see, maybe, the, maybe he's going to a new role, we are here to see. Thank yeah, you, we Collins. have to look out for that. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining yeah, us once nice. again. And lots more is still to come. We take a look at what's hot right now in our daily debate section, Hot Topics. We'll be right back. It's the month of love. Buy tickets this February with Randia and stand a chance to get in a lucky draw for a romantic getaway in Mombasa. Three lucky couples stand a chance to win an all-expense paid holiday for three days and two nights at the White Sands Beach Resort and Spa. Yes, we are connecting dreams. Fly our dream to the heart of Africa. Welcome back to Rise and Shine Randa. So today is Thursday and you all know what that means. It's movie <laughs> review time where we show you uh, what movies to look out for in the cinema this weekend. And of course, our cult classic. Isn't that our favorite part <laughs> oh, yeah. of the day? All right. And, um, and for those people who'd rather enjoy, you know, a fun movie at home, we also have what we call a cult classic. In our special movie review segment, we not only have the very best movies for you, but we are also joined by the rest of the Rise and Shine team. So guys, let's get straight into the first movie. Uh, we have Focus. So Focus is actually going to be coming out today. No, tomorrow. 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 So, you know, date night for all you people who have your, <laughs> your special plans. And I'm going to tell you about it, but first, I think we should take a look at the trailer. Uh, that's 
what you get when you hire a con man. I can convince anyone of anything. You see, there's a science to getting people to trust you. I want in. With your current skill set, you don't. Maybe he could teach me in your room. That is so bad. Is it? Does it feel sexy on your face? A little. It does. Okay, let's go. We're about 30 strong. Everybody gets a percentage. They hit quick and get out. Who's the girl? She's our intern. You're hitting that? I'm right here. No, Farhad, I'm not hitting that. You should hit that. When the rimba rhythm start to play. You never drop the con. Dance with me. You never break. Make All me right, sway. so that was the well. movie. As you can see, it's Will Smith, and he plays Nikki, who is like this... You con know, artist. con man, and but he's like, you know, really good at it, big time con artist. And then he meets Jesse. So Jesse is the rookie, and he ends up kind of taking her under his wing and, and teaching her, you know, all the tricks of the trade. And then, my favorite part of any movie, they end up kind of, you know, being romantically involved. Basically, they kind of fall <laughs> in love. All right. And then, um, you know, what happens in a lot of movies, she's more into it than he is, and he decides to kind of cut it off. Obviously, she's not happy about that. Look at you and, telling the and, whole... No, telling wait, wait. wait. This is, no, this is spoiler-free, by the way. Uh -huh. Then, what the, the main part of the movie is that years later, they end up having to face off because now she's a big shot. That's where all the madness goes down. So if you're interested in seeing what happens there, definitely go and watch it. I think it's going to be something to look out for. Box office. Will Smith is Mr. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Usually he comes out in like July and then he has like Independence Day and all these many He always yeah. gets them to be the James Bond movies right. to prove a point. He's Mr. 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 Like, like even yeah. during the press releases, you can also, like there's so much hype around this movie. Right. It's, it's, it's I'm, I'm so, tomorrow I can't wait. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, how Fred just mix up the old school and the new school. Oh, yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone, y'all need to book your tickets because right. yeah, it's gonna be a good one. All right. So we also have, of course, as always, every week, your favorite, the yes. <laughs> Hulk classic. classic. You know what? Let's just look at the trailer. It's funny what a young man recollects. You're the same as everybody else. You are no different. Your boys, different. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. She was my most special friend. My only friend. We was together all the time. We were like peas and carrots, Jenny and I. Run, Forrest! He's stupid! Run! Now, you wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I can run like the wind blows. Who in the hell is that? That there is Forrest Gump, coach. Just a local idiot. I never thought it would take me anywhere. David put me on a thing called the All-America Team. Well, you get to meet the President of the United States. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? I gotta pay. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. Man, you got right. it. It's Forrest Gump. Who I remembers love, Forrest love, Gump? I love, 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 this movie. Like, I remember the first time I, I watched it. Oh, uh, they said you never ask a lady. Get age, lost. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the first time I watched this movie, I literally replayed it like three times. Oh. And I couldn't get enough. So you, you so rewinded the, the, the VHS. Watch, that's it. You know what my issue has become <laughs> with Cold Classic Thursdays is that Every time I say this has to be in my top five, but it yeah. ends up being like all of them. <laughs> There's a lot of this in the top five. five. So okay, so for anyone to all of these Thursday. Oh, oh, oh no. one. So for all you people who care, uh, Forrest Gump was a really, really, really good movie. Right. Um, Tom Hanks was starring in it, and it's basically about this guy who is a bit mentally um, slowed or slow-witted a bit, but he is just so determined in everything that he does. He excels at everything. So at one point, he was really good at college football. Right. He was really good um, runner, shrimp fishing everything. with a friend of his. Everything that he did, he went ping to war, pong. ping pong, everything. And he ended up um, being so determined and good at everything. And he had the support right. of his mother, who was kind of, you know, the thing that pushed him to do well. And uh, he was just so lovable. But the one person that he couldn't quite be so good at was what his childhood right. love that you see there so it's a really beautiful that movie scene is i love classic. it so much oh yes and and the good thing with rise and shine thursday movies is it gives you two options so you can either stay home or go to the cinema go to the cinema <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yeah, yeah, one, know, another thing sorry. about this movie is believe it or not the 20 year anniversary of this was last year 
Okay, wow. nice. So this movie came out in 1994. The 20 year anniversary was last year. And because of that, they re released it. So they re released it in all the big movie theaters. And you would be interested to know that Nike actually released, uh, re released the sneakers that he was wearing in the Run Forest no Run. Way. Yeah, so oh, nice. Serious? They just, just, just yesterday, I think, re released it. Them? And this is like pre Jordan era, your thing. So, you know, it's even. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah definitely. All right. Um, a movie to check out if you have not checked it out yet. And just before we wrap up the movie review, every week we give out free movie tickets to check out the latest movies playing in theaters. For this week, all you have to do is tell us what does Forrest compare life to in the movie Forrest Gump? Is it A, layers of an onion, B, a box of chocolates, or C, Thanksgiving dinner? Man, oh man. All right, well... <laughs> Don't go anywhere, guys. Hot Topics is up next. Welcome back to Rise and Shine Randa. It's that hot topics time again. As always, the Rise and Shine Randa team have been out and about gathering everything you need to know about what's happening here in Randa and around the world. From what's trending on Twitter to the debates in your local cafe, we've got it for you right here and right now. All right, let's start with what everybody's talking about. Minister Joe um, is not the Minister of Sports anymore, and we have a lady for change, mm -hmm. just to let you know that anything is possible, Makina. <laughs> we have a lady um, okay. as Minister of Sports in a critical year here in Rwanda because, number one, um, the Football Federation isn't functioning as well as football pundits would love it to be. Um, and it's not the only federation that's not, you know, we've talked about tennis, we've talked about basketball and some other sports. And then, Rwanda is organizing Chan 2016 next year here. Um, so it's interesting to have this change a year, a couple of months before it actually happens. What were your reactions two nights ago when you found out about the change? Well, the lady's name is Minister Uachu Julian. Right. And um, you know what? I was quite surprised because it was just so sudden. It was just one day. It was shocking, right? You know, uh, Minister Joe's out and, and Minister Uachu Julian. Julian is in. And, you know, I mean, what can you say? Decisions are made and you kind of have to roll with it. I just really I, hope mm -hmm. that people love her as, as much as they love the previous minister and that she, she does us proud and, and hopefully we don't go back to being a little bit boring. I don't mean, know what Arnold has to say about this. I wish I could be given five minutes to give my <laughs> views on this. One, she will, she's not going to be as popular as Minister Joe. We have to be very honest. Those yeah. are very big shoes to fill in. It's almost impossible to fill me. We saw that with the former Minister Protea Mitali, the current ambassador to Ethiopia. Two, look, she has a, a, a very impressive CV from you know what she has done before to get in. To the current post she's in every like three years she has always gone a step ahead she has an impressive cv is it impressive enough for sports what i've been that's hearing already yeah. in like cafes and stuff yeah. is what does she know about sports exactly that's bad that's because she has, she has, it's no i wouldn't say it's sexist you know people are asking this question because she is not a former athlete she's not she's not she has not been seen around the stadiums um she's someone who's new to so many people. And sports is a very sensitive matter being that it's what relieves people. Everyone mm -hmm. knows the minister of sports. You are going to go to so many runners, they won't give you the name of the minister of maybe local government, but they will give you the minister of sports. Yeah. Right. So a minister of sports is always, always in the public eye. Mm -hmm. It's going to Main. I agree with all of you. All of you made a really good point. I just feel like, like you said, we have so many things coming up right now, and, 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 you know, and the sports in Rwanda is still so low. Are we ready for that change? It's just, was this the appropriate time? And it's, we've already gone through so many changes. I mean, Minister Joe was there for about seven so months, enough. and then you know, a new change again and again. I just feel like, I don't know, like, like McKenna said, yeah, was it's the a decision the right that, time? Exactly. It's a de you know? decision that uh, was made and we have to go with it. But was it really what we needed? What we needed, what we need, I feel like what we need right now is consistency and, 
and focus on to, to, to raise uh, the I'm Ministry of Sports. But we needed consistency, consistency, especially going into Chan. So it's not necessarily sending the right message at the moment? To me, no. no. It's not the right message. All right, well, take, take the lead on this one, too. <laughs> um, Uganda permit, what's going on? I mean, this is a you know, sister country. This is yeah. an East African um, community, a neighboring country. What's happening with permits in Uganda? What's uh, what? what do you mean? There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, it's actually a, a good a, thing. It's a good <laughs> thing? Yeah, but it has, it has come a little too late, if you will ask, because Kenya had already scrapped right. the permits mm -hmm. for Rwandans, and then, you know, Kenyans who are coming to Uganda, uh, to Rwanda to work also, they need permits. But why did it have to take this long, though? That's what I don't get. It's politics. <laughs> that's, that's the, the correct way to go about it's it. Politics. The political way to well, go. Well, no excuses now. That's all we have to say. So people, Rwanda, go out there, enter all these yes. countries, and do business, Check make our money. Skills there, not only you Gabon. Know, you know, there's okay. so many Rwandans in Gabon and Mozambique working that side. Take them. To we should exploit this opportunity to the maximum. Yeah. Just, we mean, have no more excuses. Sometimes I wonder if there are as many Rwandans in other East African countries as, as there, there are. Uh, East, African. East Africans yeah. here in Rwanda Ridiculous. working because there's quite a there's bit. So many, there's yeah. so many. They're so welcoming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it comes by. Okay. All right. I'm hoping that they they uh, take advantage of this and just mm. go ahead, go right. and work and travel and do what they have to do. Well, yeah. Makina, we have more sports to talk about. Yay! How exciting! <laughs> I, I think it's been the greatest the greatest show for her. Um, all right. So we have our own team of cyclists that had to stop this is uh, it's hard for me to actually process this they had to stop a race well they removed themselves from a race because of snow, snow. i think it's so cute i mean honestly i don't see what the big deal is everyone is like especially on twitter and everywhere and you don't my, think it's ridiculous okay my thing is this is it life and death no, they never saw um, snow apparently, according to to the article, yeah. and they wanted to see it. I like mean, curiosity. What are you you do? look how like, happy they are. No, it's, it's no, I mean, it's guys. Uh, how many times when you just look at the backgrounds of so many of our cyclists, by the mere fact that they are at that level, it's they have achieved. Uh, they have achieved yeah. a lot. Right. Jadi Havi is an example I'll give. Jadi had had it. Three years back, yeah, used to take matoke, yeah, on a, on a bicycle to between markets and sell milk. You know that that's what he was doing. So him being in a place where there is snow right now, he has you know achieved exactly. a lot at twenty three years old. And then the whole I feel like the whole point of like sports and all these things anyway is when you get an opportunity, you go out there. You're supposed to enjoy and maximize on this opportunity. You know what? I feel like they're doing so well. They were in their leisure time. In the paper. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying asking myself, were they, did they stop a race really in order? Remember, to who made this this the most trending topic on Twitter? The Daily Mail. How much do we trust the Daily Mail? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I, no, I mean honestly, I think people who are who are making fun or whatever. I think it's 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 not. They like it have Yeah, you, you don't you don't have. Snow. I don't think anyone has the, the place to to make fun because a lot of people have never seen snow before. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm a lot yeah. of people around the world and mm. if it's the first time seeing it you're curious you want to touch it you want to see how it feels and the way you're doing so well i was just tweeting that some uh, european company or organization is going is wants to sponsor one of the cyclists yes. already and you know balance nice oh, let them go <laughs> so <laughs> what you know yeah, yeah, you enjoy it. I mean, it's fine you you feel your snow y'all <laughs> <laughs> okay don't forget that we love to hear your thoughts comments and feedback on what we're talking about here on rise and shine ronda Tweet us at Rise and Shine RW as you always do. <laughs> like us on Facebook and send us ideas for programs or tag us in your photos. Check out our Rise and Shine Renda YouTube page where you can catch all the shows and reports that we upload daily. Find us on Instagram, Rise and Shine RW, tag us, follow us. Or check out our Rise and Shine Renda website. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'd love to hear your feedback and do let us know if you have an idea for the program. Like if you have anything to say about what we've been talking about here, go ahead. <laughs> You've been watching Rise and Shine Randa with me, Regis Isheja. And me, Makeda Mahario. We'll be back here same time, same place tomorrow, so please do join us then. But for now, from the both of us and the rest of the team, have a great day. Bye-bye.